A jet with intercontinental range, capable of crossing oceans and reaching almost any point on the globe, with its three powerful engines taking it to speeds of over 900 km per hour. All of this with luxury, comfort and even more economic than its competitors. This is the Dassault Falcon 8X, a symbol of success in the ultra-long-range executive aviation, due to its combination of performance and flexibility, making it one of the most desired planes in the market and a dream for executives and celebrities around the world. The Dassault Falcon 8X is now one of the company's biggest successes, which is one of the most important in the sector, but its success is not recent, and Dassault has a long history. Having started in 1929, since then, Dassault has gone through several transformations, having changed its name three times, and consolidating itself as one of the main companies in the sector. Since its beginnings, Dassault's objective was to manufacture both civil and military aircraft, but at the time there was a great focus on the military sector. In the 1950s, the company began to stand out in the aviation industry by launching the Mystir 4, its first military jet. From then on, Dassault continued to develop successful and high-performance military aircraft, such as the iconic Mirage 3 and the Rafale, which are used by numerous countries around the world. With the end of World War II, France underwent a major overhaul in its aerospace industry, generating opportunities for a series of government contracts for newly established manufacturers. In the midst of this scenario, in the early 1960s, a project emerged that aimed to create an executive jet capable of meeting government, executive, and military demands. Dassault Aviation accepted the challenge and began developing a jet with capacity for up to 10 passengers, using the aerodynamic studies of its Mystir 4 fighter bomber as a basis. The concept was so promising that it caught the attention of the giant Pan American World Airways, or Pan Am, which became a partner in the project. The result was the launch of the Falcon 20 in 1963 which was an instant success and a historic moment, marking Dassault Aviation's entry into the executive jet market. On May 4 of that year, the aircraft made its maiden flight, becoming the first successful business jet on the market, with over 500 aircraft produced. The Falcon 20 was so popular that it remained in production until 1988, reaching the mark of 25 years of history. Although it had achieved great success, the company faced difficulties due to some decisions made and was on the verge of bankruptcy. In 1967, Dassault collided with the two giants in the sector at the time, Boeing and McDonnell Douglas, when marking your entry into commercial aviation with an extremely efficient and well-optimized aircraft that promised to dominate regional flights. Thus was born the Dassault Mercure, which aimed to compete head-to-head -head with the Boeing 737-200 and the Douglas DC-9, targeting short routes of up to 1,700 kilometers, for which it was extremely optimized and had everything to be a great success and dominate this market segment, having unparalleled efficiency in the industry and being free of direct competitors in this specific segment. However, although it had great potential, a crucial factor led to its failure. Its greatest differential and central point of possible success was precisely the reason for its ruin, its short autonomy limited its operations in other countries, restricting it to only short-distance flights in Europe, mainly departing from Paris. Its lack of flexibility compared to its competitors, who could not only make the same routes as it, but also longer routes, reaching larger markets, was the decisive point of its failure. Since then, the company turned to executive aviation, which proved to be a wise decision for the company, which was able to recover and achieve great success in the segment. This was the only attempt by the manufacturer to enter the commercial aviation market. With the global boom in the business aircraft market, it became evident that Dassault needed to rethink its Falcon aircraft strategy. In 1984, the Falcon 900 flew for the first time on September 21st of that year, incorporating composite materials into your project, being a direct evolution of the Falcon 50, but with a much larger fuselage. Starting in 1997, 
executive aircraft sales reached exceptional levels, driven by growth in the United States, and in 1999, Falcon aircraft sales represented 68% of Dassault's revenue and 55% of its order backlog. With the increasing demand for executive aircraft with greater range, in 1993, the world was introduced to the Falcon 2000, which had an impressive range of 5,000 kilometers, enough to cross the United States from coast to coast, allowing flights from New York to Los Angeles, a distance of 3,900 kilometers between the cities, in 2005. The company launched the Dassault Falcon 7X, precursor to the 8X, with a significant increase in range compared to the Falcon 2000. Reaching an incredible 11,000 kilometers, Dassault Aviation was now entering the ultra-long-range sector of executive jets, with the 7X offering an extraordinary range, making it possible to fly directly from Paris to Rio de Janeiro, a distance of 9,100 kilometers. In 2009, the Dassault Falcon 7X became the executive jet with the longest range certified to fly to London City Airport, known for its short runway and steep approach, which can make landing challenging. Located in the heart of London and surrounded by buildings, increasing the complexity of landing at the airport. Today, all Falcons produced are certified to operate at London City. With the growing demand for executive airplanes and an increasingly interconnected world, there emerged a need in the market for an aircraft that would meet a specific quality, completely transforming the dynamics of executive travel, providing comfort and efficiency like never before. Going back to the 1960s, traveling from one point to another around the globe could be challenging for most airplanes, depending on the distance, especially when it comes to executive jets, which at that time had a very limited range, causing few flight options and comfort on board for long trips. Or if one opted for an airline with larger and more long-range planes, which reduced flexibility and comfort, or resorted to executive jets, which required multiple stops along the way, the search for a more efficient and luxurious alternative quickly became a growing demand in the executive aviation market. It was clear that there was a void in the market in this segment, and a need for executive aviation for planes with greater autonomy. With this opportunity, Dassault launched planes with increasingly longer ranges, seeking to meet this demand. In 2005, the Dassault Falcon 7X arrived, precisely to meet this purpose, being the company's longest range plane at the time, and as expected it was a success, with its combination of comfort, range, and efficiency. But some of its clients demanded something even more powerful, a plane with enormous autonomy, while also capable of landing on small runways. Taking advantage of the success of the 7X, Dassault followed the same approach, a new plane that took much advantage of its sibling's design, the 7X, but with some improvements, making it even longer in range. And thus the Dassault Falcon 8X was born. Since the launch of the first Falcon in 1963, over 2,400 Falcon jets have been delivered. Today Dassault offers a complete line of executive jets that range from the Falcon 2000, with a length of around 20 meters, to the company's latest and flagship airplane, the Trijet Falcon 8X with its enormous autonomy. The Falcon 8X represents a paradigm shift for Dassault, being the first time in the company's history that it stretches one of its existing Falcon jets to create a derivative model. Instead of embarking on a clean sheet design, it has the same structure as the Falcon 7X, incorporating some modifications and a longer fuselage. In 2014 the Falcon 8X was unveiled to the public for the first time at an annual conference held in Geneva, Switzerland, which brings together leaders in the executive aviation industry. It was launched in December of that year, and in the following year, in February 2015, the Falcon 8X took to the skies for the first time, starting its flight test program and undertaking a world tour to demonstrate its operational capabilities in various conditions. During the Falcon 8X test campaign, the aircraft covered an incredible 55,000 nautical miles and visited 46 destinations around the world, crossing oceans and continents on ultra-long-range flights, from Singapore and Sao Paulo to Paris, and from New York to Abu Dhabi, in diverse flight and weather conditions, 
including extreme hot temperatures and intense cold below zero degrees, and low and high humidity environments, testing its operational capabilities to the maximum. The test team consisted of 26 pilots, as well as over 60 engineers, technicians and flight attendants. Operators of the Falcon 8X are virtually unanimous in stating that the Dassault flagship is a substantial improvement over the Falcon 7X, flying higher, farther and more fuel efficiently, as well as being more spacious inside and even quieter, it is a difficult airplane to beat, lighter and with the highest structural efficiency in its class. One of the most striking features of its project is its three engines, instead of the two conventional engines in modern aviation, making it one of the few trijet aircraft models today, which is no longer common in aviation, but brings some benefits to the Falcon 8X. The history of three-engine planes began with the need to design an aircraft capable of flying long distances over remote regions, such as oceans and deserts, where landing options are limited or non-existent, in case of an emergency or mechanical failure in one of the engines. With the lack of reliable engines on the market and with dimensions and power suitable for a twin-engine project, operating longer routes was impractical. So three-engine planes were the perfect solution. In addition to offering greater safety in case of engine failure, these aircraft were more efficient than quad-engine planes which until then were the only ones capable of fulfilling such a mission. With the arrival of larger and more reliable engines, twin-engine planes eventually dominated the sector. In the 1980s, twin-engine planes were authorized to fly on routes without nearby alternate airports, opening up space for long flights over the ocean. The Falcon 8X carries an iconic design in its three-engine configuration, which is commonly seen as a problem and outdated design in aviation, but in the 8X it is precisely from there that many of its benefits come from, its powerful three engines provided with an extra operational safety factor over its competitors, enabling it to fly transoceanic routes faster and more efficiently, with reduced fuel consumption. Its trijet configuration also contributes to a slow and stable approach speed of just 107 knots, and its three engines give it superior performance, allowing takeoffs from shorter runways and with a faster climb, which makes it possible to fly between smaller cities without the need to go to cities with large airports, making it a much more flexible and accessible aircraft to a greater number of airports around the world. Although three engines are often associated with less efficient planes with higher fuel burn, the Dassault Falcon 8X is 30% more fuel efficient than its competitors, an impressive number that makes all the difference on such long flights. The Falcon 8X is a luxury aircraft capable of impressive routes on its intercontinental flights with a range of 11,945 kilometers. This aircraft is equivalent to the Boeing 767-200ER, the longest range version of the model, offering an extraordinary range, allowing direct flights from New York to Tokyo, Sao Paulo to Wellington in New Zealand, and Hong Kong to London. Without the need for a stopover, it has exceptional performance in relation to altitude and speed, allowing for smoother and more comfortable flights. The Falcon 8X has a longer cabin than any other Falcon, offering more comfort and space for passengers, accommodating up to 19 people, with beds and even a shower on board, a state-of-the-art entertainment system and high-speed internet connectivity with its base factory version priced at an average of $59 million. The cabin can be customized with over 30 interior design options, making it a flexible option to meet the needs of passengers. The aircraft is used by various companies and governments, including the Royal Family of Monaco and the Egyptian government. The Falcon 8X is highly valued by operators for its fuel efficiency, comfort and low cabin noise levels. The history of the Falcon 8X is proof of the company's pursuit of cutting-edge technology and exceptional quality, inspiring and demonstrating that perseverance is essential to achieving success in such a competitive market. The Dassault Falcon 8X is a revolutionary intercontinental jet that can cross oceans and reach almost any point on the globe. With its three powerful engines, elegant design, and unparalleled comfort, 
Every detail is carefully designed to offer the ultimate in luxury and performance, from the spacious cabin to the state-of-the-art cockpit. Representing much more than just an executive jet, with its speed, flexibility and range, the Dassault Falcon 8X has dominated the skies, becoming the dream and desire of executives, celebrities and successful entrepreneurs around the world who seek comfort and autonomy on their intercontinental flights, being a high-performance jet and a symbol of excellence, luxury and success. But what about you? Would you like to have this incredible plane? And where would you fly with it? Share your opinion in the comments below. And help support our work by leaving your like and comment,